Okay, so what I'm doing is, is I'm lowering my stance, coming in here, putting lots of pressure on this foot, and bringing it across here. From here, I'm trying to bring this hand in and try to flatten him as much as possible. From here, I start to try to lift and put pressure down and out. See how I'm kind of moving my hips away from him, away from his hips, but I'm standing very, very close. And I slide. From here, I come in the attack the head, underneath the arm here, which will lead to, uh, you know, I can go to sit up with this, and then attack this arm right there. This can also sit up in the arm bar. Cool. One more time. Show me that again. <clears throat> okay, so we're here. He has his underhooks. I'm kind of sitting in here, pushing, pushing my knee down as much as I'm at. Underhook in the arm, grab the other hand. If possible, he's going to be trying to grab me too. I'm going to try to get as much control as possible. Twist my hips down. Sit through. Pass. From here, I'm going to start to attack this arm. I'm coming in here, coming after that arm. I can also sit up here, go for the arm bar. I've got the elbow on the chest, hand on the head, spin, and <laughs> sit back. So the key here is, uh, is that you're putting pressure on his shin and pinning that leg close to him. Yeah, because that's where the, the limb is actually the weakest um, when it's all the way like this. Here, he has lots of strength. He can push this way. But when he's here, this is very difficult. That's like the weakest point on the leg. So I'm coming in here, and I'm really pushing it down, making it really difficult for him. Taking it through. Pointing your knee down, aren't you? Putting lots of pressure down. Okay. And now it's actually unhooked. So he has zero hooks now. Now the only thing I've got to do is, is finish passing the guard, which I pretty much have. And how I'm doing that is I come down real low, attacking the head, and then coming in here. A lot of my side mount escapes are to attack the head and get my weight up here on his chest. A lot of people control down here. I really concentrate on controlling the upper body. Um, versus the hips because when I'm side mount, he can buck with his hips. He needs to get his hips involved to try to escape. Come on, I'm here in the head. This actually, when you take the head and put him back on his so that he can't move. With, by using your shoulder? Using my shoulder, then he can't turn in that way. Right. So I'm coming in here and I'm this way. It makes it very, very difficult. Now, the only way he can escape is, is to either get rid of my shoulder somehow, or turn this way, or both, uh -huh. in order for him to escape. So this kind of takes away some of his options. Whereas when I'm here, he can turn in to try to escape, or away, which gives him more options. So I really try to get my weight down on his head. Yeah, what else do you got for us here? Okay, from side mount, I really like to take it in Make the guy believe that he can get away by turning away. You want him to believe he can? Yeah. Is that what he's saying? No move. Because what I need in order to submit and make an interesting fight is for this, this person to move. If he just stays right here and keeps his elbows to the mat, his head on the mat, it's hard to submit somebody like that when okay. they don't do anything. So what I'll do is, is I'll come in here and I won't give him the option to turn an enemy, but I'll let him believe that I'm kind of holding loosely. So now if he pushes on my head and he starts to turn, then I'll catch him here and start to attack this arm. Okay. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back. When, when we've got the back, I'm going to bring it up my knee, put it in his side, right here, and then I can take and slide this over and take the mount. But a lot of the times I prefer to keep my foot right here. For the simple fact is now I can still, if he starts to escape, go back side mount. Whereas if he starts to escape here, now I'm in half guard, which makes it more difficult. So what I'm going to do is sit back, keep my hooks. Let's see what's going on. Okay, your hooks. Let's see. Okay. So I have my hooks, and we've 
got, we could go here, this is my favorite. And uh, from here, set up to go for the arm, or up here. I've grabbed this palm, I'm pushing on the head, coming here, and extending against the arm for the arm bar. Again, we're here. I really like to control this part of the hand. This is a very big deal to me uh, because I have the most I leverage go. of this head. You know, where I have lots of control here, I have a little less control, a little more risk, and I start to push. Hooking the head, taking the arm bar, very low risk um, arm bar attack from there. So one more time. We're here. Let's see, let me see. Okay, so you've got your arm controlling his wrist and controlling like the meat of his hand. Yeah, right here. Okay. And I'm letting go with this hand to push on his head to create some space so my hips don't have to move. See how my hips are here and my hips stay in the same place, just the leg is changed place. And then we switch over here for the arm bar.